We're not going that way today. We're gonna go the other way. Come on, up here. Come on. Let's go this way. Well, he's a creature of habit, if nothing else. I gotta go out in the woods, get some cedar. My rice is coming up, some of it. I'll show you guys how the experiment's going with the floating rice seed. It's not turning out like I expected. But some of it's up, and last year when I planted rice, I did not have the place to plant it out in the garden all set up. And this year is no different because even though last year I set up little mini experimental rice patties in 50 gallon drums that I had cut in half, uh, that worked out okay considering the delay that I had in planting. So this year I want to expand and do something a little bit more permanent. But like many projects around here, I haven't got to it before now. So. Last night, I had the tractor from the farm, and I still have it. I haven't taken it back yet. But one of the things I wanted to do was come out in the woods and get some cedar that I have just lying on the ground that I cut for a different project and haven't used. And I'm gonna build sort of a raised rice paddy, but the woods are so rocky and terrible that I had a lot of trouble getting the cedar back with the tractor. Ended up throwing in the towel, bringing the tractor back. So I'm just gonna go in, put it on my shoulder and carry it out. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm getting soft and I need the exercise, especially after the long winter. This section of our woods is particularly problematic. There was a woods road here when we bought the property, though it was becoming a little bit grown over because it was cut over 15-20 years ago. However, the people who did the stumping must have had large machinery. That's pretty standard. And getting over the rocks that are in this section of the woods was probably very little problem for them. In my case though, I just have a little ATV, which has no problem going over the rocks, but does have a problem pulling things over the rocks. All of the cedar that's piled here and in this general vicinity came from the cedar forest that's just behind me. I've been cutting it down a little bit at a time with the intention of building a bridge across this section of the property that's wide enough for my ATV and anything that I'm dragging. I started to build a bridge last fall, but got sidetracked. And in the meantime, I've been thinking that's probably not the best solution to this problem. However, I don't want all this cedar that I've cut down to go to waste. Since it's cut down already, I might as well use it. You could you make yourself useful and carry one of these things for me. Why are you breathing heavy? You haven't done anything. We're really fortunate to have friendly neighbors on all sides. A bunch of us around here are I'm not, I'm not going to say we're all homesteaders, but a lot of people around here try to do as much for themselves as they can, so chainsaw noise is a pretty frequent occurrence around here, tractors. So it's nice, we live in the woods, we're all kind of separated by trees, but 
Anyway, we all kind of get along and I'm really fortunate. These neighbors over here have been very generous with allowing me to use their ATV trail. And I don't use much of it, but there's definitely a section of woods here where I can't get the ATV in this section because the rocks are so terrible. I can access this spot with the neighbor's ATV trail, which runs right along the other side of the property boundary, which is pretty nice on a day like this when I'm trying to get all this stuff. Back to the garden, I don't have to walk through over, you know, brush and undergrowth and all that. I can just scoot over to their ATV trail and walk down. And then once I come off their ATV trail, I've I've cleared the property line, so it's a nice easy walk. But anyway, I got one down. I gotta get uh, let's see, at least four more to start my rice paddy. Winter really took it out of me this year. Shouldn't be this out of shape. Come on, Ziggy! Because I don't have a permanent location or beds for my greenhouse, I've never really wanted to invest in seedling irrigation. But that doesn't mean I can't make the most of a simple hose nozzle and a setup that allows me to water things while I'm doing other projects around the homestead. The trick is remembering to come in every once in a while and move the hose. Three. Okay, so just for fun, I started counting my paces from here where the cedar is to where I'm dropping it in the garden. And on the way there, with a, with a log on my shoulder, I got 170 paces. And on the way back, I got 145. So to average those, I can't do that right now in my head. Hold on. Oh, black flies are coming out. Awesome. Glad I'm almost done this. Uh, so it's about 160 paces, a little less than that, maybe a little more depending on the terrain. Uh, it's hard to measure paces out here, but anyway, it's about 160, so it's about a thousand feet uh, that I'm walking in one direction. So 2,000 feet, so you figure one trip, one round trip is, what is that, mm, three-tenths of a mile? I don't know, I'll have to figure that out later. 2,000 feet, and then I forgot how many trips I've taken, um, but when I get to the end, I'll figure out how many it is. Whew, black flies are really coming out. I gotta get moving, but I'll figure that out. See how many miles I walked with a log on my shoulder today. I feel like Rocky. As I've mentioned previously, I think a homestead should be aesthetically pleasing as well as serve functional productivity needs. I also think a homestead should remain a perpetual work in progress, meaning you're never quote unquote done. Things can shift and change, and I believe you shouldn't be too attached to any one thing, at least to the point where you're not willing to consider completely changing something when it suits you. This particular bed is about to get a full makeover. So I'm taking the extra time to measure and lay out the cedar raised beds, keeping in mind that I plan to flower beds on all sides of them. I've also mentioned previously that I've never really focused on flowers, but now that I'm homesteading instead of commercial farming, it's something I'm getting into 